Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me walking and I'm back with another another story. It's that's right, it's the only ser video series that I do that has two titles. It's time for another story, and it's a day in the life of Woki. So what's today's, uh, if you don't know what this is, is basically me either telling stories of my past or of things that happened to me interestingly that happened pretty recently. Sometimes it's a mixture of both. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the fact that, uh, so I finally have started going back to Burger King and McDonald's because they finally opened up again. So depending on when you're hearing this video, if you don't know, I'll explain real quick. Uh, we've been in a pandemic due to the corona and both my Burger King, um, the, the places I frequented, which was Burger King, McDonald's and Taco Bell, all closed down for the pandemic. And went to all food ordering, and it mean it meant that I had to deal with Uber Eats or go to the drive-through. And because everyone, there, we just didn't have enough cars to justify specifically always getting me food when everyone was away at work. Um, what happened was is I had to use Uber Eats, and I absolutely hate Uber Eats with a burning passion. I've never seen such highway robbery as <laughs> the charging on uber eats it was nice to kind of have different food and i did kind of have a bunch of different food uh due to it um but god it's too expensive for how much especially when i would want to get mcdonald's burger king or uh taco bell it end up costing me somewhere around like 20 20 to 25 dollars depending on what i wanted when in actuality whenever i went into the actual place it was always like so for a good example is that an average bk meal would cost me um when i went back so the other thing that you can't use on uber eats as far as i can tell is you have to wait for them to kind of give deals and when those deals showed up it was pretty nice but burger king does this deal around here and i assume it does it all around the country um where they give out coupons and in it you can spend like eight six bucks for like two whoppers uh two fries and two small drinks and if you go in person this is i guess a tip if you don't know this and you're someone who's just looking to eat on the cheap you can say can actually i just have one medium drink and not two small ones and they'll go yeah sure we get you we know that you're eating by yourself <laughs> because this is cheap food um so on average on my current bk spending i can eat bk three for basically three days for the cost of one uber eats so that's kind of what i'm returning the other reason i'm actually going back is because they like i said they opened up the um the ability to go in um but also i'm fully vaccinated and i've waited the two weeks so it's actually safe for me i mean it's safe, 95%, but just to be sure. And you have to have it. You have to always have your mask with you um, if you want to go inside. So um, I did that. And it's funny because... So when I went to the BK, I ended up getting a ride there because I was so unsure how I was going to get used to walking. I don't walk very often because I'm basically just secluded into my house. My work was all done here. I don't know if anyone else has done that where they kind of had to actually start moving again and starting to get back in the groove of moving. And you just get super tired, especially when you haven't been doing it for so long. And I, I move my legs, but I don't move them that much. Um, so... I ended up getting a ride there. When I entered the Burger King, I was unsure. There was one other old dude in there, and they were, we were ordering, keeping the distance. Um, big plate glass stuff, and also the uh, fountain drink or the giant soda machine, which BK has this awesome soda machine, which basically can get you a bunch of remix flavors. Um, not something you can actually do in the Burger King, at least the one I went to, because they closed it off and they're like, we're not risking anything. And even you can ask them for a refill and they'll pick up a pitcher. They won't pick up your drink at all and then they'll pour it in for you. And that's an interesting experience because now I'm trying to guess how much ice to be left in the drink because it's hot in California right now. So on the return home, I like to drink the drink so I don't pass out completely. But if I remove all the ice and the person doesn't put any ice in the drink, I've got about 10 minutes out in the sun before that um, cold Coke turns into an extremely warm Coca-Cola and nobody wants that. Um, if I don't get rid of enough ice, then I have like 50% ice in my goddamn drink and I just don't want that. Oh, I hate it so much when I have too much. The perfect ratio is just completely off. So it's not the greatest solution, but it is, hey, a decent solution. 
Um, but yeah, when I went in there, I ordered my food. I sat down. I think my first return thing was like a Whopper. Um, because I had a coupon for like a $4 Whopper Junior. So I got that and then I think I got the chicken, the, the new chicken sandwich. Um, which I actually liked it because it was super big. The sauce was a little bit suspect. I think I need to have more of the sauce to kind of get used to it. But I actually like the chicken sandwich that they had there. I don't think it's as good as Popeye's. Um, hard to be. And I know I've only eaten Popeye's recently, but still. I would still consider um, Popeye's the best one and Burger King's is a pretty good chicken sandwich. Um, so yeah, I ordered my food and then when I got it, it doesn't come in a tray anymore. It comes in a bag. So I went back to my seat. Everyone else who had come inside the Burger King was ordering their food and then leaving. Which it never made sense to me. If you're going inside a place, why would you go inside a place and then take your food to go? I don't know if people were just maybe afraid about actually eating inside. But I wasn't going about to walk my ass all the way to home to eat my food because it would be cold by the time it got there. I want it warm right now. So I actually asked to be sure. He's like, hey, can I eat here? Is that okay? She's like, oh, yeah, that's why we opened it up. <laughs> and I said, thank you. Sat down, ate. Um, was perfectly fine. I don't have any air conditioning in this house, um, which really freaking sucks um, badly. So the Burger King had some pretty nice air conditioning going on. You can still kind of feel the California heat, um, but it wasn't too bad. Ate my food, left, started the walk back home, and the walk back home was a goddamn nightmare. So I brought my sweater with me. If you don't know this about me, I always bring my sweater with me because it's a comfort item. Um, I feel much better with the sweater on than with the sweater off. Um, so I don't like leaving the house without it. Uh, that changed after today because I don't know if you ever tried to walk in 100 degree weather in a black, big, heavy sweater while also wearing your mask because you are keeping it on to keep 100% safe from everything and you're walking for any set period of time it fucking sucks so much it sucks so much to walk and it was enough for me to go okay i'm not doing that again and when i went back to the burger king the next day i left it at home <laughs> i was like okay this ain't happening again i'm not gonna risk it it's all it's not actually that hard for me to walk with the mask i didn't you know i take occasional like uh, side stuff to kind of breathe in, breathe out. But I watch a lot. Of, I watched a lot of JoJo Part One and Two, so I know about Hamon. I remember the <laughs> not Jonathan. Um, fuck, I cannot. He's one of my favorite ones too. Well, Jonathan's actually my favorite Joe Bro, but not Joe Bro. JoJo. Um, how Joseph? Yeah, Joseph. There you go. Joseph, I always remember the scene where he's trying to learn how to breathe, and he's like, okay, control your breathing. So I think about that, and I am able to kind of control the breathe pretty nice. Um, but I'm also not, like, running. I'm just walking. Um, so I don't have that much trouble, but I leave the sweater at home now. So that wasn't too bad, and after going to the Burger King two days in a row, I started to feel a little bit more confident. I decided to go into the McDonald's and see how that was. Um, and also, both my Burger King and McDonald's are franchisees. So I don't know if that means that the, the reason I wanted to go back to the McDonald's is that regular McDonald's from non-franchisees is really expensive or I guess kind of regularly expensive. But when you go into a franchisee, they're way cheaper. Like, um, like you can order basically a, uh, a meal and one extra thing and it's barely $10. That's that's what I consider cheap for um, McDonald's meal. When I think in regular sense, it maybe costs $5 more, depending on where you buy it from. Um, so yeah, I decided to go to walk to the McDonald's this time. So Because I, I can't have Burger King every single day. Even with me trying out different menu items for my coupons, I can't have it every single day. Otherwise, I will go insane. So I decided to go to the McDonald's. I go to the McDonald's. I go inside. The first thing that comes in, the second I walk in, oh, the coldest breath of air. I've tell them, I've so I've said so many McDonald's stories about how the McDonald's that I uh, that I go by is filled with crazy people. Not as many crazy people on the street. There's still some, um, and I can tell because I guess in in a way, yeah, I'm, yeah, I guess in a way, I'm actually very happy that. 
uh, the regular crazy people seem to be okay considering the, the pandemic going on. Of course, there's still the issue of them being homeless, which California isn't looking anytime soon to fix, but that's an issue bigger than me, than a man who just wants to eat McDonald's and Burger King. It's a bigger thing. Um, but anyway, so I go inside there, cold as hell. The other thing I noticed that is actually different is, so, um, the thing that's different is that you can actually go and get your drink from the soda machine, and I guess all they do is constantly wipe it down, because that's the reason I think Burger King closed theirs, because they don't want to constantly wipe it down. The McDonald's does, and what the McDonald's does, what I think the Burger King doesn't, is that the Burger King will clean the station after you leave. What McDonald's will do is it will clean the station, but it'll make sure to leave a mark to say, don't go here, someone sat here. Because that happened to me after I was, I, someone got my food, they flipped it over to let people know next going in, someone's sitting here, don't go here. Um, if you see this up here, which I thought was actually pretty um, smart. So I ate my food, I got to drink my drink. I ended up rushing home because I thought I had to be with a meeting with the Mimu Force, but it ended up being that I was an hour early and I could have just stayed there. It was so nice to actually feel, to be back inside the McDonald's and actually have air conditioning after being in this godforsaken house that doesn't have any air conditioning where I get to sit. I'm going to have to open the window and pray to God that <laughs> cold air comes to me. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's kind of been my return to them. It feels kind of weird for sure, and there is a constant sense of when I'm walking to and fro. Uh, I look at people who don't have masks and I just straight up avoid them. I don't go anywhere near them. I don't want to deal with it. The last thing I want to deal with, I don't want, I'm also not one of those people that wants to really get into a conversation. If you're one of those crazy people that doesn't believe in masks or whatever, I just don't want to talk to you. Go, go somewhere else. Leave me alone. That's my basic thing and I will leave you the fuck alone. Easy. The transaction done. That's just the way you're going to, you have to unfortunately live your life in a place like California. As long as you are not actively trying to get up in my face and we're not going to have a problem. Uh, and I don't give a shit what you do to try and endanger your life or not. Or whatever is in your goddamn head, I don't care. Um, I just care that you don't endanger mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's always in the back of my mind when walking. I Again, walking with the mask seems perfectly fine. I can't... <laughs> I, I almost forgot it one time because it just seemed like, okay, everything's back to normal. But I was like, oh, no, no, no. It's not back to normal. Things aren't normal. Um, get your damn mask because you're not going to be able to walk in. I would be so pissed if I walked to the McDonald's and Burger King and I forgot my freaking mask. <laughs> I'd be so <laughs> mean. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be so salty about it. I'm like, damn it, where can I buy a mask real fucking quick? Because I need to get inside this damn place and eat. Because I'm not about to walk all the way back. And then also when I'm walking, I actually saw my local library had opened up. And I'm actually kind of curious about, mm, maybe I should just spend some time in the library. Hmm. That'd be kind of nice. Um, that'd be a brand new experience for me. Instead of coming home and sitting down and playing gotcha games, I would much rather, I guess, just stay in a library. You know, enjoy the cold air. Do all that stuff. So yeah, that's... That's back to it. The Taco Bell, of course, near me is actually doing reconstruction, and so you can't go inside there. You can still go through the drive-thru, but um, I've, I've already ditched Uber Eats. I'm like, I've got two places to eat now. I don't want to be charged oh, close to not even $100, $150, uh, $125 a week or so, maybe even more. Yeah, maybe more because... Um, yeah, $125 a week, Monday through Friday. That's usually when I go out to go eat. On Saturdays and Sundays, I usually wait to go um, ha to see if my mom or something wants to have food because that's the one time she doesn't have to go to work at night. Um, and then we will figure out food situation there. So I ended up, I think, I don't know. I, I forget who ends up paying at that time. But this, you know, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I pay, sometimes she pays. I, that's enough about my life. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it costs a lot of goddamn money. So $125 and compared to the actual week I had going there for the five days, I think it was under like, it was like close to 40 bucks. That's a huge difference. 
Um, especially for someone like me who's looking to hopefully, considering someone like me who's going through some stuff as I continue to deal with my work and its lack of giving me work and unemployment being unemployment, um, which is a whole other can of worms that I don't want to talk about right now, but it's something that basically everyone in America is kind of dealing with. Um, and also there's a feeling of I also want to eventually move out of this place. Um, so there's a lot of saving of money. So the more money I can save, the better for me. Um, I didn't mind paying for Uber Eats when I felt like um, we might not be moving soon. But I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the day where we'll be moving. And at that point, I'm like, I can't keep spending money on this. I, there was no choice beforehand. And now I have a choice. And now the choice is maybe potentially risk getting this. But my risk with, I hope wearing the mask being smart and being vaccinated is basically 100 is basically as close 99 percent as i can get <sighs> unfortunately i am a gotcha player so even a one percent chance means there's something bad but you know what at some point something's gonna get me and i just, i just want to sit down and enjoy my meal and have that and save money and just feel nice and it felt nice actually going back seeing the people there at the Burger King that I knew from before and being like, yo, you guys made it. I sure hope they're paying you decent. I say as I make coupons, uh, they should charge you more. They should give you more money, but also keep these coupons and I'll go. Actually, I think the franchisees are a completely different uh, thing from, uh, yeah, I think that's true. I think being a franchise, because if you don't know, being a franchise and being working directly under the company is two different things. Um, you have more control over, I think, what kind of happens and you, what yours is than compared to other places, I think. That's why the charges, the, the, the money can change depending on how much you, you pay on stuff or something. But that's the end of the day story, everyone. I just kind of want to go over it, just because I have so many of these, I think, Day in the Life of Wookie are around <laughs> fast food things. Oh, man. Oh, if you're wondering what I got from McDonald's, it was um, the chicken nuggets with, I think, a double cheeseburger. And over at the, again, at this specific McDonald's, that's around 10 bucks or so. Real good deal. I almost, I, I debated getting the BTS stuff, but... I'm just a big fan of the barbecue sauce and the spicy um, sauce that I didn't feel like actually trying something different. Because the worst thing that could happen is, and I'm not one of those people who gets like, ugh, ketchup on your nuggets. I don't care. I'll eat ketchup with nuggets. It's fine with me. I don't care. Um, I don't like the idea of not having the two sauces because I end up hating both of them. And it's like, ugh. Or worse, I end up liking them. But maybe I'll try them tomorrow when I go in. Hmm. Huh. I'll report back to you guys. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, you guys have a good day. And remember, stay safe out there. And don't worry about me. I'm staying safe as I can. <laughs> Everyone's out there trying to live. Everyone's doing their best. And I hope you're doing the same. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.